Looking for the perfect midsize SUV? We've got you covered. From the affordable to the luxurious, from the rugged to the refined, from the family hauler to the sporty cruiser, we've rounded up the best of 2024 in no particular order. Number one, Honda Passport, best value. Honda Passport is probably one of the most versatile midsize SUVs in the market at the moment. It made many top ranking lists for its athletic prowess, generous space, and nice, exceptional standard features. A 3.5 liter V6 engine delivers 280 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque, paired with a 9 speed automatic transmission and standard all wheel drive. A 0 to 60 run will take about 6.8 seconds, which is among the quickest in its price range. Pair the punchy acceleration with a solid all wheel drive system, and you've got a very strong performer, which can handle dirt, snow, or just about any weather like a champ. More than that, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with it when you need it. Inside, the passport is very very spacious and comfortable. The front wide seats provide good support and the reclining rear seats are also a nice touch. The cabin is very quiet overall with very little wind and tire noise making their way inside. The 8-inch infotainment screen responds quickly to pinch and swipe gestures for easy map zoom and rotation. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as are most of the modern technology features you'd want. In terms of fuel economy, the EPA estimates 21 miles per gallon combined for the all-wheel drive Passport, which is kind of middle ground for a midsize SUV. Tests show that the real-world miles per gallon are in line with the EPA estimates, which is great. The starting price is good for a family midsize SUV, and the exceptional materials, spacious interior, and punchy performance will make it feel like a bargain. The basic EXL trim offers 20-inch alloy wheels power lift gate, a sunroof, three-zone automatic climate control, heated and power adjustable front seats with memory settings for the driver's seat, remote engine start, wireless smartphone charging, and a seven-speaker audio system. Moreover, every Passport comes with blind spot warning with rear cross-traffic warning, forward collision mitigation, lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and parking sensors. It's really a very long list of standard features which makes the Passport one of the best mid-size SUVs for the money. Number two, Jeep Grand Cherokee, best towing. Genuine off-road capabilities, that's the best way we could describe the Grand Cherokee. Add a relatively spacious interior and class-leading towing capabilities to it, and you've got one of the best SUVs Jeep has made in a while. Engine-wise, you've got a choice of a V6, V8, and even a plug-in hybrid, which can drive about 25 miles on all-electric power and generate a maximum of 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque, more than the Grand Cherokee's V8. As standard, the Grand Cherokee comes with a 3.6-liter V6, making 293 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. The V8 is a 5.7-liter monster, putting out 357 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, available on the Overland and Summit trim levels. It can cover 0 to 60 in under 6.5 seconds. That is the quickest in its class and the price range. All the powertrains send the power to the wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The V6 models come standard with rear-wheel drive, while four-wheel drive is available. The V8 and the plug-in hybrid are four-wheel drive exclusive. Once you step inside the cabin, the Grand Cherokee will surprise you with very comfortable front and rear seats, which can be equipped with heating and ventilation. The optional air suspension will make every ride feel like a blessing, and the available four-zone climate control does its job well. Passengers up to six feet tall can lounge comfortably in the reclining second row while enjoying the wonderful distortion-free sound quality coming from the optional 19 speaker Macintosh surround sound system. Smartphone integration is standard and you can get up to 12 USB ports inside. You'll also have plenty of space to store small items. The Grand Cherokee is one step ahead of its rivals when it comes to towing as well. The V6 can tow up to 6,200 pounds, while the V8 can pull 7,200 pounds. Fuel consumption is also good. The V6 has an EPA estimated 22 miles per gallon combined, pretty much the same as the Honda Passport. The V8 is obviously thirstier, scoring about 17 miles per gallon combined. Buying the cheapest Grand Cherokee will get you 17-inch wheels, roof rails, a digital instrument panel, an 8.4-inch touchscreen, six USB ports, and a six-speaker audio system. In terms of safety, you'll get adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision mitigation, and rear parking sensors with automatic braking. Number three, Kia Telluride, best affordable three row. The Kia Telluride is probably the best three row family SUV for the money. It's comfortable. It has a modern, quiet cabin, adult friendly third row, and a nice list of standard features. The Telluride is a quite fun three row SUV to drive. Its V6 engine is responsive. The brakes are strong, smooth, and consistent. The steering feels natural, both in parking lots and on long winding roads. 
and the big boxy exterior is surprisingly nimble and dynamic without too much body roll. Under the hood, you'll find a standard 3.8 liter V6 with 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission delivering smooth performance. Front-wheel drive is also standard, but all-wheel drive is available on all trim levels. The Telluride would sprint from 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds, which is similar to the Hyundai Palisade, another three-row SUV we'll review later. Inside, the Telluride is roomy and modern. Passenger space is excellent in both the second and third rows. The large windows make everything seem so large. The 12.3-inch touchscreen is nicely positioned closer to the driver for greater accessibility. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration is standard, and there are plenty of USB ports for all three rows. The higher trims will also get a 12.3-inch instrument cluster display, which makes the blind spot view system very useful. Cargo space is really nice, with 21 cubic feet behind the third row. Once you fold both rows, you'll get a whopping 87 cubes. You've also got a wonderful underfloor compartment that'll come in handy when road tripping with the family. The Telluride also provides up to 5,000 pound towing capacity, which places it among the top of its class. Not bad. Fuel economy is average, with 21 miles per gallon combined for the all-wheel drive version. However, overall the Telluride is a pretty good baby Land Rover, which offers bargain luxury in a very good way. Number 4. Hyundai Palisade – Best Value 3-Row The Hyundai Palisade is another great pick for a 3-row midsize SUV. It comes as no surprise, since the Palisade is a very close relative of the Telluride. They share the same engine and very similar technology features. However, the Palisade has a different body style with a bit more luxurious interior vibe. So, the engine is a 3.8-liter V6 with 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission, sending power to the front wheels in standard configuration with all-wheel drive optional for all trims. 0 to 60 happens in about 7.6 seconds. It's not impressive, but thanks to its very good transmission, the Palisade is a comfort cruiser you'll come to appreciate, both in the city and on the highway. Inside, you can have it with second-row captain's chairs that feel just as good or better than some front seats in other vehicles. The third row also offers decent legroom and a nicely contoured seat cushion. As you drive it, you'll enjoy the driving position, which offers a perfect view out the front and sides. Visibility is also aided by the available turn signal camera display. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, as are USB-C ports and a 12.3-inch center touchscreen with sharp graphics and navigation built in. The higher trims also come with a rear seat intercom feature and a 10-speaker sound system, which will make your road trips even nicer. Trunk space is generous. You have up to 18 cubic feet behind the third row and 87 cubes with both rows folded down. You can also tow up to 5,000 pounds with it. So, is it the best value three row you could get in the midsize SUV class? Well, yes. It'll be tough to choose between the Palisade and the Telluride, but they're both the best three row midsize SUVs you'll find on the market right now. Everything is top notch, from the basic trim to the top of the line, which offers a near luxury experience with premium leather upholstery, massage function for the driver's seat, quilted leather door inserts, and remote smart parking assist, which lets the driver use a smartphone app to remotely guide the vehicle into the parking spot. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz GLE – The Most Comfortable The Mercedes-Benz GLE is one of the best mid-size luxury SUVs you could buy today. The exceptional build quality, diverse engine lineup, and exquisite interior make it a real contender in today's overcrowded SUV market. The base 350 version comes with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine, producing 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. If you want a little bit more power, you should choose the GLE 450, which comes with a turbo charged six-cylinder engine that makes 262 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Maybe the most exciting addition for the 2024 GLE is the 450e plug-in hybrid version, which combines a turbocharged four-cylinder with a hybrid component for a total output of 381 horsepower. Moreover, it's capable of going almost 60 miles on a single charge. Zero to 60 miles per hour is attained in a good 5.7 seconds. For those craving some V8 power, the GLE offers a turbocharged V8 with 483 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, adaptive air suspension, and an exclusive AMG line styling package. The true AMG line is composed of the GLE 53 with a 429 horsepower turbocharged V6 and the GLE 63S with a 603 horsepower turbocharged V8. All trims come with all-wheel drive as standard and a mild hybrid system, except of course for the GLE 450e, which is a plug-in hybrid. Although the GLE is primarily a 5-seater, 
You could also add an optional third row to expand the passenger capacity to seven across all trims, except the plug-in hybrid and the AMG models. Every GLE comes with forward collision warning and automatic braking assist, blind spot warning, and a surround view camera system, which gives you a top-down view of the GLE and its surroundings in any tight space. But probably the main reason why you buy a Mercedes is the comfort and luxury. The seat heating, ventilation, and massage, the excellent climate control system, the brown leather and natural wood trim all make you feel like you're in a five-star hotel. The cabin is also very spacious with plenty of room in both rows. The infotainment screen is one of the best in the business with a high resolution and impressive response times. The available Burmester audio system will make you long for long trips. The GLE also means business when it comes to towing, boasting an impressive 7,700 pound towing capacity when properly equipped. Number 6. Porsche Cayenne, the most fun mid-sized luxury SUV. Since we're in luxury mid-size SUV territory, we shouldn't exclude the Porsche Cayenne, a genuine athlete in the mid-size SUV world. Simply put, the Cayenne is a 911 in an SUV body. Maybe the exterior looks a bit debatable, but once you step behind the wheel, you'll be amazed at how quick and athletic such a large SUV feels. Even the base 335 horsepower V6 engine can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 5.3 seconds. The transmission is very clever, putting the power down when you need it, and the handling is just perfect. And since it's a Porsche, you'll definitely have a choice of V8 and V6 powertrains. The Cayenne S model, for example, is the sportier version of the base model, packed with a turbocharged 2.9-liter six-cylinder, which makes 434 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. The GTS model boosts up the power to 453 horsepower, but this time it's coming from a turbocharged V8 with a specific roaring sound that you'll love. The Cayenne Turbo is the performance model, making 541 horsepower and 567 pound-feet of torque, and it can hit 60 miles an hour in less than 4 seconds. The Cayenne is also available as a plug-in hybrid, adding an electric motor to the base model's 3-liter 6-cylinder engine for a total output of 455 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. But the absolute king of the Cayenne engine lineup is the Turbo SE Hybrid. Basically, the Porsche engineers took the turbocharged V8 from the turbo model and paired it with an electric motor for a combined total output of 670 horsepower and 663 pound-feet of torque. The list of interior specs is just as impressive as the engine lineup. A broad range of driving positions and generous space allow the Cayenne to feel both like a proper sports car and a conventional SUV when you need it. There's plenty of room for all passengers, and the controls have a certain quality feel to them. The wide touchscreen has one of the best user interfaces in its class, and the Bose or Burmester sound system upgrades will make long road trips a pleasure. Cargo space is less than other competitors, but that's not the main reason you should buy a Cayenne. Still, 60.3 cubic feet of cargo space behind the first row is decent enough for a small adventurous family. The Cayenne is expensive, yes, but it somehow feels more well-rounded than other competitors, such as the Range Rover Sport or the Maserati Levante. Number 7. Audi Q7 – Best Luxury 3-Row Midsize SUV The Audi Q7 is a luxury 3-row SUV that stands out due to its luxurious cabin, smooth performance, and a wide range of advanced technologies. Pop the hood and you'll find two main engine options. The Premium and Premium Plus trims come with a turbocharged 261-horsepower 2-liter 4-cylinder, known as the 45 TFSI, while the higher trims offer a turbocharged 3-liter V6 that makes 335 horsepower and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in about 5.5 seconds. Both powertrain options are paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. If you're after more power, you can always choose the SQ7, but that's entirely a different car in our opinion. So why the Audi Q7? We think of it as one of the most comfortable three-row luxury SUVs you'll find on the market right now. The cabin is very silent, the front row seats are cushy enough to provide both comfort and support for long drives, and the advanced driving safety aids work very well, most of them coming as standard. In terms of car Cargo, you've got 14.2 cubic feet behind the third row and almost 70 with all rows folded down. The optional air suspension can lower the car so you can load the cargo much easier. Moreover, the second row of seats features three sets of child safety seat anchors, while the third row features another two, and that's very thoughtful from Audi. Towing shouldn't be a problem, as Audi cites a 7,700 pound capacity for the V6 with the optional tow package. Moreover, EPA estimates 20 miles per gallon combined for the V6, which is pretty 
much the same as the other V6s on the list. The basic trim is quite generous with leather upholstery, hands-free liftgate, power adjustable steering wheel, keyless entry and keyless go, tri-zone automatic climate control, power folding third row and panoramic sunroof. You also get dual center touchscreens, a digital instrument cluster and a 10 speaker audio system. In terms of safety, the Q7 comes as standard with lane departure mitigation, blind spot warning with rear cross traffic warning, forward collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control and lane centering. Number eight, Lincoln Aviator. Best looking three row luxury SUV. Maybe you weren't expecting to see it on a 10 best midsize SUV list, but we think the Lincoln Aviator deserves some more respect than it gets. First of all, we really like the styling, inside and out. On the outside, it looks quite different from the rest, especially when you spec it with 22-inch wheels and black exterior trim. It's big, it's commanding, much like the old Lincolns. On the inside, you'll love the quiet cabin, the highly adjustable, comfortable seats, and the friendly infotainment screen. Although the third row is a little bit of a squeeze, the first two rows are comfortable, with plenty of legroom and headroom. Cargo space behind the third row is great at 18.3 cubic feet, more than most most competitors in its class. Fold down the third row and you get 41.8 cubic feet. And with all two rows folded, you'll have 77.7 .7 cubes. Under the hood, you'll either find a turbocharged V6 with 400 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque, or a plug-in hybrid with 494 horsepower and 640 pound-feet of torque. The first two trims come with standard rear-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is available as an option. The V6 can do 0 to 60 in less than 6 seconds. In terms of technology, even the most basic aviator will get remote engine start, power-adjustable heated front seats and memory settings for the driver's seats, a digital instrument cluster, and a 10.1-inch touchscreen infotainment system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot, and a 10-speaker sound system. The standard safety features package includes forward collision mitigation, blind spot monitor with rear cross-traffic alerting, and lane departure mitigation. Number 9. Ford Bronco – Most Capable Off-Roader The Ford Bronco is a truck-based mid-size SUV with some serious off-road capabilities. It's got four-wheel drive and plenty of ground clearance to tackle all sorts of rough terrain. What makes it even more exciting is the many hardware add-ons and configurations that Ford offers. For all we know, you can drive it without doors or roof and enjoy a sunny off-road afternoon. At its heart, the Bronco has either a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder delivering 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque or a turbocharged 2.7-liter V6 with 330 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. 0 to 60 happens in about 7.3 seconds, which is not that bad considering the big tires and four-door configuration. A 7-speed manual transmission is standard, but we recommend picking the optional 10-speed automatic. The Bronco comes in seven different trim levels – Base, Big Bend, Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Badlands, Wild Track, and Everglades. While the Everglades model is exclusively available in a four-door configuration, the rest offer the choice between two-door and four-door setups. Each trim can be extensively kitted out with a wide range of options, from various roof types to specialized off-road equipment, wheels, and accessories. There's also an eighth trim called Raptor, which is even more adventurous looking. Maybe the standout feature of the Bronco is its steering capability. The front independent suspension gives you an unparalleled sense of confidence, even at highway speeds. Inside, you won't find much luxury, but still, the Bronco is a comfortable SUV to take on the road. The base model comes with a digital instrument panel, an 8-inch infotainment touchscreen, a 7-speaker audio system, Wi-Fi hotspot, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Bronco also comes standard with features such as trail turn assist, which helps you make very tight turns when off-road, trailer sway damping, which adjusts the brakes to help control trailer movement if the trailer behind sways, hill descent control, which keeps the car at a constant speed while descending steep slopes, and hill start assist. Number 10. Toyota Grand Highlander – Most Versatile 3-Row the Toyota Grand Highlander is a family mid-size three-row SUV with some of the best adult-friendly third rows in its class. Good fuel efficiency, comfort, and reliability. If you have a big family and you're on the lookout for your next SUV, this is the car to get. Under the hood, you'll find a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine that produces 265 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. It delivers the power to the wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission with front-wheel drive standard. 
All-wheel drive is, as you'd expect, optional. Zero to 60 happens in about eight seconds, but you'll love the low RPM torque that makes the Grand Highlander a trusty companion around town. Ride quality is really plush. The front seats offer good support, even during lengthy drives. The second row captain seats are just as comfortable as the front seats. The third row is adult-friendly, with decent legroom and headroom. In terms of tech, the Grand Highlander is a great contender in its class. The camera-based rearview mirror is a really cool feature that allows for clear vision even with a fully loaded cargo space. In the limited trim, which is the middle one, you'll get 20-inch wheels, hands-free liftgate, fully digital instrument panel, heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats with memory settings, and even heated second row seats. The 11-speaker JBL audio system and ambient lighting are also worth the upgrade. The Grand Highlander comes standard with frontal collision warning with automatic emergency braking adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and blind spot monitor. In the limited trim, you also get front and rear automatic braking. As for economy, the EPA estimates 22 miles per gallon combined for the all-wheel drive and 24 miles per gallon combined for the front-wheel drive. Real-world tests indicate these estimates are right, and that's pretty encouraging.